بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم 015 grammar unit 1 lesson 4 the simple present tense the learning objectives dear students by the end of this lesson you will be able to use adverbs of frequency with the simple present tense identify the spelling and pronunciation of final s or es the simple present tense adverbs of frequency the meaning of adverbs of frequency now what do you mean by an adverb of frequency an adverb of frequency tells us how often an action happens okay so an adverb frequency tells us how often an action happens. Let's study the meaning of the following adverbs of frequency. Always. Always means 100%. Example, I always pray in the mosque. Usually. Usually means from 90% to 99%. Example, Susan usually brushes her teeth. Often. Often means from 75% to 90%. Example, we often watch TV after lunch. Sometimes. Sometimes means from 25% to 75%. Example, John sometimes makes his bed. Seldom. Seldom means from 5% to 10%. Example, our teacher seldom comes to class late. Rarely. Rarely means from 1% to 10%. My father rarely travels abroad. Never. Never means 0%. Example, my sister never eats meat. Notice that all these sentences are in the present simple. In the present simple. And notice also that the adverb comes immediately before the verb. Comes immediately before the verb. The simple present tense, the position of adverbs of frequency. Now we are going to talk about the place. Where do we use or where to, do we put the adverb frequency in the sentence? Use adverbs of frequency between the subject and the simple present verb. Except main verb B. So this rule doesn't apply to verb B. Examples. I usually walk to school. Notice here that the adverb comes before the verb and after the subject. It comes before the verb, this is the verb, and after the subject. Another example, Khalid often takes the bus to work. Again, this is the adverb. The adverb comes before the verb. And after the subject, this is the subject and this is the verb. Use adverbs of frequency after main verb be, after main verb be, after am or is or are. So after am or is or are, we put the adverb. Or the adverb comes after am, is or are. Examples. Our teacher is always on time. Notice here that the adverb comes after the verb. After the verb. We are never late. We are never late. Notice also here the adverb comes after the verb. After the verb. The simple present tense. The spelling of the third person final S. Add ES to verbs ending in SHA, CHA, SA, X. 
So if the verb ends in sh, ch, sa, or x, we add es to this verb. Examples. Wash. Notice here the verb wash ends in sh. So we add es. Example. Ali washes his hands before he eats. Teach ends in ch. So we add es. John teaches English. Mess. This verb ends in s. Misses. We add es. Tom misses his mother a lot. Fix. This verb ends in x. So we add es to this verb. Mike fixes computers. Delete the y and add ies to verbs ending in y and is preceded by preceded by a consonant a consonant like t b l s n k r p v etc these letters are called consonants examples cry notice here that this verb ends in y but this y is preceded by a consonant the r here the r is what it is a consonant okay a consonant so in this case we delete the y and we add ies our baby cries a lot our baby cries a lot here our baby is a singular noun so we need to add ies to the verb fly also the verb fly ends in y and the y is preceded by the l and the l is a consonant so we need to delete the y and add ies my father my father is a singular noun so we need to add ies to the verb my father flies to dubai every month try again try ends in y and the y is preceded by the r and the r is a consonant so we have to delete the y and add ies to the verb mary mary tries to lose weight here mary is a singular noun so we need to add ies to the verb study study ends in y and the y is preceded by the d and the d is a consonant so we need to delete the y and add ies to the verb example ali studies computer science so here ali is a singular noun so we need to add ies to the verb so if the verb ends in y and this y is preceded by a consonant delete the y and add ies to the verb add only s add only s to the verbs ending in y and is preceded by a vowel is preceded by a vowel these are the vowels a i e o and u examples by notice here this verb ends in y but y is preceded by a vowel this is what this is a a vowel okay this is a vowel letter so we add only s okay don't delete the y keep the y and add only s example my father always buys us some ice cream my father is a singular noun so we need to add s to the verb okay so don't delete the y if you delete the y then this will be incorrect this is incorrect add only s say the verb say ends in y and is preceded by a and a is what is a vowel okay so just add s to the verb example the sign says back in 10 minutes so the sign is a singular noun so we need to add s okay we keep the y and add s enjoy again this verb ends in y and is preceded by what by a vowel okay is this by a vowel so keep the y and add only s example mary enjoys traveling abroad mary is a singular noun so we need to add s to the verb play 
a play ends in Y and this Y is preceded by A and the letter A is a vowel so keep the Y and add S only Bob plays football once a week Bob is a singular noun so we need to add S to the verb so if the letter Y is preceded by a vowel keep the Y and add only S to the verb in the third person singular some verbs are irregular have becomes has in the third person singular Ahmed has two brothers and one sister now Ahmed is a singular noun so we use has we cannot say haves okay we cannot add s to the verb have this is incorrect this is wrong do we do add es to the verb he often does his homework after dinner so with the personal pronoun he we use does we add es go becomes goes okay becomes goes so salma goes shopping every week salma is a singular noun so we now we add es these forms are irregular these are irregular forms thank you for listening